Last week's winter weather closed just about everything, including emergency food pantries and Meals on Wheels programs throughout the Wabash Valley. The icy roads left the elderly and those in need without hot meals they depend on. News 10's Amanda Jarrett finds out how one couple cope without daily deliveries. Wilbur Stalker had stocked a few things away in his fridge. So that's a TV dinner. It's a good thing, since Mother Nature put a freeze on Meals on Wheels deliveries to his home. And Wilbur and his wife Alice couldn't leave their house. I couldn't even get the garage for two days and the cars in the, because I couldn't walk on that ice. For days, the stalkers were without their daily meals. I've been here 17, 18 years, and this has never happened before that we had to cancel for four straight days. But Monday, their meals showed up on time, easing their minds. If it hadn't come today, today, it would have been. A concern? Yeah. Well, they had a pantry full of snacks, Wilbur says he's not a good cook, and his wife isn't able, so they depend on the group. Our big help. It's been about a year. I guess that we've had them. For the stalkers and many others who maybe just couldn't get out in the icy weather. Said, I'm starving without you, but no one wasn't happy to see us. Wilbur says he'll keep food on hand just in case, but hopes the cold weather won't stop their hot meals again this winter. In Terre Haute with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, Amanda Jarrett, News 10. It is a great program. Meals on Wheels in Terre Haute plans to deliver again tomorrow.